Hey everybody, I would say good morning, except it's a little bit after the noon hour. I've been up playing in the studio this morning, I've got paint on my hands, um, packaging some things to go out to the post office in a little bit. I did want to share my um, entry, my art spread for this journal, my December daily journal. And today's spread is all about birds of the sea. And I just love this spread. It's got just a touch of blue in it. And it's, what is this color called? It's called Seaside. And I didn't use very much at all. It's, it's mixed with a little bit of white. I'm not sure if you can see this very faint outline of a mermaid stamp. It's so pretty. I wanted everything to look a little bit whitewashed. You know how it is at the beach when things are out in the sun, constantly they fade, and yet there's always an element, it seems, of wood and rust and things like that because of the water and structures like piers and boats, ships. So there are seagulls in here, there are seabirds. This page had been a page of cranes and um, herons and birds like that. So I just whitewashed it a little bit. There's some stamping. Here is a little charm of a turtle. And this piece of lace came from a, a table scarf. So pretty, very old. The lace pulled right away from the, the cotton fabric in the center. I love the way this looks. It's a little angel, but with the curls in the hair, it just reminds me of waves. It made me think about Poseidon. Just um, kind of a mythological element there. And I tore the lace off and ran it up the page. And again, I love having this fabric in the center because you can stitch things to it. I took some rusty pieces of metal and sewed them as if this was a net and it had caught things in it. And you also see those weights on nets when you throw them out that float. And that kind of has the same shape. So opening this... There's a little portion of a map of the Atlantic Ocean and this beautiful vintage postcard of some pelicans. No writing on the back. I'm not sure the date of this. I believe this is a Florida postcard. And you can see the map there. It's been distressed a little bit around the edges. But I just love that postcard. This was so much fun. Um, my actual journal entry for today is in this little envelope on a piece of stationery. It's kind of personal today, and I love the shape of this. It's kind of like a cargo box, and this is the corner of a record album cover, the sleeve that is goes inside the actual heavy cover. I just tore the corner off to make it look like a boat, and it makes a little pocket, and I used some acrylic ink to make what looks like masts and just maybe wood and things like that. And if you blow on the page, you can see the little flag there lifting up. I love that. Isn't that fun? Let's see. I've stamped seabirds here. That's just a little image of a vintage seagull. And then once inside, we have another page from the Bird ID book, which is Sandpipers. And underneath is an illustration by Arthur Rackham, one of my favorite illustrators. I love his version of Alice in Wonderland, and he also illustrated The Little Mermaid. I love this image of the mermaid under the water. You can see the fish swimming around, and fish this size like that in schools make me think about the birds that you see flying over the edge of the water at the beach and they kind of swoop down. 
And look at this little baby, the little um, shell for a hat. It's just beautiful. And I've done some stamping. This is a this is a flip spot, or uh, I'm not sure how really what to even call it. I found this old postcard of a vintage fishing basket. You can see the fish there and the rod and reel. The date written on it is June 17th, 1937. So that is just beautiful. It's in such good shape. I found this old vellum envelope to put that in. And I printed a little page from Lindsay's kit to glue that onto. So that flips up and it leaves me space to write something here. We have another page of uh, seabirds or water birds. And then under here, I love this stamp. This just made me think about an ocean, like a ghost, a shipwreck. You can't really make out a face, but and then down here, I took part of a tag and I wrote the day, which is Tuesday. It's sunny out, the highest 51 degrees and the lowest 35. You know that people who sail and stay on the ocean, they have to keep up with the weather, the wind, the temperature, everything like that. Here is an old Nature Conservancy stamp of the Sand Hills Crane. And then I took this from Wikipedia, just a little bit of information about gulls and pasted that onto the page. Um, I may come back, I probably will come back and do more with this book as time passes, but this is at least the start for my um, December 4th page. There's the date, 12-4, and I don't think I'm missing anything else. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to tell you. Oh, there is some glitter mixed in with the paint here to look like sea sand or sea glass. And I glued down just a few little sparkles. Um, I guess it qualifies as glitter, but it's um, they're definitely bigger pieces. So I just wanted it to look like things caught in the edge of the tide and in the, in the net. So that is December 4th, and thank you so much for looking. I will be back tomorrow with December 5th. Bye.